In this video, I will go over several of the projects you'll be creating in this course. There is a welcome project and this cardstock came with your machine and I'm going to show you in the welcome project how to draw onto your cardstock and how to create this 3D box. Now then in the sections of the course you're going to be doing more detailed projects. For example, you're going to learn how to scan and cut stamped images and scan and cut stamped sentiments. They came from this particular stamp set called Crafting Forever and the stamp sentiments are layered with a different piece of of designer series paper behind them and I actually showed you how I colored these as well. I'm going to lean that up so there's not as much of a glare. Also in the stamped in the stamped images section I showed you how to cut out stamp sentiments like this and this was actually part of a larger stamp and I showed you how to isolate it the word kindness and also in that section I gave you troubleshooting tips such as aligning your machine when you're when you're Images are not cut evenly around the sides. I also have a section on cutting patterned paper. I show you how to cut out these dinosaurs, and it's called Dinosaur Paper, and this is the result. And then I get into smaller patterned paper, such as the patterns you see in this designer series paper called Follow Your Art. These are arts and craftsy designs, and I have lots of tips and tricks on how to cut these little images out and here is your result of cutting those out after you cut those out i show you i show you my examples of what to do with those little tiny embellishments and i showed you how i decorated some boxes these are just little gift boxes and this is a mini pizza box all used with embellishments i cut out using the brother scan and cut also in the patterned paper section I showed you how to cut out these magnolias and how to layer those with designer series paper in the background and then I created these cards using the stamp or the cutting the patterns that we cut out I created these cards the course is full of loads of examples in the in the section where I teach you about the brother canvas workspace we create projects that are inside of canvas workspace I show you how to hook up your machine wirelessly to the network and then how to create these cute little suitcase vagabond hippie type of traveling luggage <laughs> using your brother scan and cut this is one of the free projects I also show you in the canvas workspace section how to create these little mini boxes or envelopes and these are this is a design I came up with and I give you all the measurements so that you can repeat the design as well little gift boxes little party favors whatever you want to use those for. I have a special section on called Scan to Cut Data. Scan to Cut Data is a way to take your machine and stretch it as, as, long as, as far as your imagination will go. Sometimes when you have stamped images, you have dies or punches that go with them, such as this little doggy. Those dies or punches limit you to one size. And they're great, it still saves you a lot of time cutting out your image, however, what if you could do this? This is one of the projects we'll do where we take the stamped image from the Happy Tales stamp set and we scan it in and we enlarge it to create a big silhouette of a dog. That is using scan to cut data. Also in the scan to cut data section, I show you how to take a metal die from start to finish and how to get that die to enlarge. And there's the little beach chair that I got there and how to use scan to cut data to make a larger chair. Also in the scan to cut data section, I show you how to take this little Christmas tree or this little tree, we should say, it's just a winter tree, and you're going to layer it up, enlarge it, and here are the results. This is foil, so I'm just trying to not get so much glare on the camera right now. But those are some things you can do with that scan to cut data in this stamped image. I also teach you how to draw in this course using your brother scan and cut. You're going to use the built-in drawing tools to create, for example, the sign. There you go. And then you can use the built-in drawing tools to create pattern fills, such as the pattern inside the star. And here's one I did with the little sponge coloring. 
And then you're going to use the drawing tools to create a personalized gift tag. I'm going to show you how I personalize this tag for my friend Jenny using the universal pen holder tool. The universal pen holder is an optional accessory. And then I'm going to show you how to adapt your own pens that you may have in your stash to create these little silver lined bats. This is a, all these tips are good for home decor, scrapbooking, and all kinds of craft projects. There is a section on cutting out vinyl. Excuse me while I reach. And vinyl helps you personalize your projects, such as these jars cut out. I cut out vinyl, Miss Farmer and Miss Rowe, in white vinyl. These are teacher gifts. I show you what's inside them in this course. I show you how I got this font from my computer onto my machine. Okay, so these, this is what you can do with vinyl, personalized gifts. White vinyl and black vinyl. I also show how to use another optional accessory, and that is the embossing starter kit. This is the auto blade, but you can replace your auto blade with embossing tools. And when you do that, you have another set of possibilities such as creating these embossed snowflakes using silver foil. And then here is one of the snowflakes on a snowman project. Okay, so these are all the projects you'll be creating in this course. <coughs> there are also examples, other examples throughout the course. And who knows, maybe by the time you watch this, there'll be even more content that I've added. But so far, this is what we have. I hope you're excited about learning how to create these projects in this course. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.